Okay, so at 16, that's when the Crip thing started coming around. Yeah. All right, so why did you decide to join at that point? Okay, um, one thing, you know what I'm saying, um, so I lived with my dad for a year, like a little hiatus, so I was like 14, and, uh, and that, that nigga was psychotic, you know what I'm saying, like that shit was really, that shit was kind of traumatizing for me, and uh, I just felt like unloved or whatever. When I got kicked out, nigga put all my clothes in a, um, in a blanket and tied up the blanket and sent, and sent me home in a Greyhound. Imagine a nigga with a gray. And, and I didn't have a belt. My pants was falling down. You know this was in uh. This when we moved to Maryland. This when me moving back from Maryland. I got kicked out of Maryland oh, okay. too. Oh, you got kicked out of Maryland. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was I was doing bad in New York. So my mom thought, oh, it'd be better if we took him to a strict father's house. Took me to my strict father's house. I got my ass beat all the time, like to to the point of like beat to a pulp. Like them niggas do not play. And then. You know, shout out to him though, like he's cool now, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't have nothing against my my father at this point. I'm twenty one, too old for animosity. But um that shit was just real, you know what I'm saying? It, it took it took a lot out of me. I came back and I saw a family. You know what I'm saying? I saw I saw people who was really down to make money. I ain't know how to make money. I ain't know I ain't know how to save money. I ain't know how to I ain't know how to, and also I ain't like getting I ain't, I ain't like getting fucking robbed or or fucking, you know what I'm saying, like there's a group of other niggas and I'm my own myself. You have to. It's like you're you're forced to join a gang. You feel me? Where Port Richmond is the only hood that's predominantly Crips in this, the entire island. And I got niggas get respect for that. You know what I'm saying? But like at the same time, niggas want to kill me for that. Okay. So I mean, around the same time that, that you started started Cripping, that's when you started taking rap serious. Around the same time, 16. Yeah. I, me getting serious into rap was SoundCloud and and I I put my first song on SoundCloud and it was a boom bap ass song like like for real like I sounded like a 13 year old Jadakiss type shit like you know you start well things started to kind of take off for you from a meme actually. yes yes oh man so I guess there's a picture of you you look like you were about maybe what six seven years old or something uh, five years old it's crazy because they guess my age too there's a picture of you at five years old. And I guess someone put like what a face tat and earrings on you. Yeah, and fake teeth. And fake teeth. <laughs> those okay. aren't baby. If you look close. Those aren't fake. Those aren't baby teeth. Yeah, no, no. I'm seeing it now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I, you right. know, and, and the I guess the the caption is if he's five, I'm five. Yes. And the funny thing is, I just posted one day. I just randomly posted that picture, thinking I looked like a monkey. I remember there was a monkey emojis next to it. And then next day on Twitter, I see some girl retweet it. I'm like what? That that's me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was, it was like some like girl I knew, and then I put I posted on Instagram. I was like, yeah, I, I knew it was it was getting bigger by the. Sh I was watching it grow in my face, so I, so I posted it on the gram, and I was like, yo, if anybody sees this, tag me in it and let them know that it's me. So I'm not like I had to capitalize off it. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't gonna be here and be like be like the guy who was like, oh yeah, I was that guy in that commercial, but like I didn't benefit off of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling the story about it. No, I, I had to really make that, like, make that my, you know what I'm saying, my jump start. I was already, I mean, I was already lit. I was lit in my hood. I, I, had, I had good music numbers, and then Instagram just started going crazy after all that. Okay, so did you Photoshop yourself, or that was someone else? Nick, hey, do I look like I know how to do Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Okay, so someone just took took my Took my baby picture, Photoshopped it. So think about it, like she really, she really was like, okay, what would be the 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 sexiest baby man? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, 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 I don't care personally. It what what really made it like super viral? It was it was like a countrywide debate, like, oh, you're sexualizing a child. You women are crazy. This that and the third. I'm like, yo, dogs, it's a meme. It's a fucking. Oh, oh, so that's what it was. Like a lot of girls liked the picture. A lot of girls were like, oh, like we're reposting it, and then a lot of girls were huh. like, were like, you guys are fucking sick, da da da. This is a child, and I'm like, first off, I'm not a fucking child, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like, and second off, even if it was like, yo, bro, even if I was a five year old, I wouldn't be offended. The fuck, cool, bitches like me, bitches like me when I was five, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I, I guess being a straight man, I didn't quite understand what, what it was all about, but I guess if I was a female. Yeah, I, me that. neither. I had no idea what, yeah, like, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Okay. So, and I guess based on, on this buzz, you ended up uh, getting picked up by Hood by Air and including a fashion show? Yes, I did. I did. That was, that was the craziest shit ever because they did DM me the night before, like, oh, it's casting for Hood by Air. And I was like, damn, like, Hood by Air? Like, I'm like, I'm one of the biggest ASAP Rocky fans, like, like, for, like, my generation, like, for real. Like, I really look up to them and type shit. But, um, you know what I'm saying? When I heard Hood by Air, I was like, nigga, Hood by Air, I, I get some model for them. They're not no street model and shit. So it was casting, though. I didn't, I didn't know the difference. I'm, I'm from the hood. So, fucking, I go to the casting, and I see some weird ass niggas, man. <laughs> some weird dudes. Like, and I'm, the thing about Manhattan, even in New York City is not very crip, you know what I'm saying, except in like Flatbush and all that. So like, there is a bunch of blood model niggas, like, that, that are just like dressing up in these, you know the HBA outfits, it was just, it was just weird. It was just, you know what I'm saying, very left field for me. And then, um, but I met this one, one of these blood model niggas named Cheeky. I stuck next to him because that nigga was cool. Um, he just, he just like told me what to do. Like, yo, you can still be a G and paint your nails. And I was like, damn, like that's, like that this nigga just dropped a bomb. You know what I'm saying? Like, like wow, like niggas is still getting. I'm probably I was I was getting more. I painted my nails before. I got way more bitches, yo. It's it's just like, like, if you if you can be comfortable enough with yourself to be like. Nigga, what's a nigga gonna say to me about my painted nails? You know what I'm saying? That, and then it makes it more fun. Me, I can't do it all the time because I, I'll look at myself and be like, damn, my, my shits look pretty as hell. <laughs> but like, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a statement, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, over here, I'm not gonna be over here wearing a dress or nothing, but like to show people that I'm not afraid to put a color on my nail or wear my hair a certain way or, you know, you know what I'm saying? tie my bandana around my hair like an auntie. You know, I don't care because I still get hoes at the end of the day. Niggas are going to hate because they can't pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I actually looked it up, uh, you know, because I wasn't really familiar with Hood by Air, but, I mean, this is like a high-end clothing line. They have like three, $400 shirts and the yeah. whole nine. Yeah, for real. And I, you know what's, fun for you. what's funny is I got a $700 gift card that I still haven't, and this is like two, three years ago, dude. Like, I still haven't. Yeah, I didn't know what I wanted, but um, I remember that. I also did some other uh, upcoming one, Rochambeau, that ended up on Vogue, and that was really cool because I did the walk, the, the run, the runway, and uh, this this model Jordan Dunn was there, and uh, she was she like fell in love with me. She was like, "Oh my God, who's this one over here?" She's like, "Yo, dude, she was like six foot seven at least, and like skinnier than me." Like beautiful, beautiful light skinned woman with a with a like freaking Australian British accent, and and uh, she she was like, I need to talk to him. Like she made sure that she had to talk to me at the end. But she was like, a, she's like a supermodel, and I. But I'm so I'm so stupid that I literally moonwalked on the stage. I literally like joked around on it. Like I didn't give a fuck. It's fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like it, this isn't my job. So I might as well make, have fun out of it. I moonwalked on that shit, and that's why everybody, everybody like, I stole the show type shit. 